Hi guys, welcome back to Lowdown Transporters. Today I've come up to Birmingham to check out Michael Hughes T4 coach build. Mate, what made you buy a T4? Well, we had the T25 and um, we actually had a pod for it, yeah. um, which we renovated. And we loved the space that an actual coach build pod g gave you. Yeah. But we had so many troubles with the air ride kept popping because of the weight of the caravan. Um, we started looking at actually buying a a couch build that was yeah. already a couch build um hence why we bought oh man it's a awesome. t4 couch build it's so good so who fit your your hydro uh slam Bassida. slam Bassida. yeah slam Bassida, uh fitted the hydros it was i went down to see ray raven uh he put the kit together because uh, obviously you had to yeah. work out the weights um and then obviously oh, it's a lot heavier isn't it yeah yeah and to be fair he'd never done a kit for a couch build before yeah uh, when we took it up to slam Bassida, well, there are now two. Nobody had ever put a couchy on our yeah. before. Um, so it was just trial and error on how it would drive. Yeah, when you came to mine, um, to the barbecue last year, when you just you just got it and had the hydro feed, yeah. it's a caffeine machine. Yeah. Mate, looking in my mirrors, seeing this huge, yeah. low T4 couchy follow me, it was awesome. I, I mean, I'm surprised how good it drives yeah. and how much better it drives low. Yeah. Because we had a big problem with it, sort of being dragged by wagons on the motorway. So we literally drive this by literally lit lifting it up an inch yeah. on the hydros and it drives so nice on the motorway because it's it's a lot planted, yeah. a lot more planted. So You've got to find with hydraulics, I found your right drive yeah. height because obviously the more, the, the higher you go, the more fluid in the lines, the more yeah. compressed the springs, the harder yeah. the ride I've found. Yeah, I mean, so totally different to air. I yeah. mean, putting air on mm. this, I think would be a bad, decision realistically yeah, you know the hydros is, yeah yeah um it's and obviously if you have it low on 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 the air you're, you're a lot more bounce yeah, yeah which would actually well it would cripple one of these yeah. to be fair and we don't like driving high no, no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. um wheel wise what yeah. have you gone for because i haven't seen them before on a t4 now they're rail f1s they was bought off uh, a lad called chris tozer from bristol apparently they're only one of two sets in the uk apparently oh, really? yeah they um, are nice so he had him on a T4, which was low down, uh, but he sold it and he actually bought a bay off me. Oh, right. Um, uh, so it was just, I seen him, he, he was selling them and I thought, well, they might look nice. Yeah. I never had no sort of, you know, yeah, the thoughts white, about. The white goes, like, it went nice when it was white. That's it, yeah. And then now it's been painted. Yeah. It looks absolutely banging. Yeah, well, we was, so nice. we was thinking about going maroon with him or yeah. burgundy and maybe in a stripe, but we're just going to roll with it and see, yeah. uh, see you what know, time see, does. That's it, yeah. But, yeah. Um, yeah, that they, they they go well. It's a big old lump to paint. Yeah, isn't it? who did yeah. that? Um, Paintworks. Um, yeah, he uh, he took it up and he's done a, an amazing job. Cause he did have quite a bit of damage on it. Yeah. Um, so he's he sorted all the damage out and. Um, it's such such big panels yeah. of paint as well. It's oh yeah, definitely. Huge. He's he's made an absolutely amazing job and totally transformed the uh, the vehicle realistically. Yeah. And like it's only done fifty thousand miles from now. Has it? Yeah. Oh, so we didn't mind sort of spending the money. Um, yeah. you know because we're going to keep this and the wife loves it because it's got hot and cold share and you know there's so much the, room in here i yeah. mean look at this we yeah, spaced it's like a, out it's just awesome. a, just a house on wheels yeah. it, you know what i mean so so what have you got inside you've got obviously two two beds yeah you got like here. a that's like a three-quarter bed to be fair probably yeah. you get two kids in there um you can get three adults on this bed really yeah yeah so what does this bring out that's it yeah there's uh there's slats that connect all this together yeah um so obviously all this we got the front chair that turned around. All oh, right, they swivel it up. Yeah, there was a curtain across there which used to cover this, but obviously you got curtains that sort of come yeah. around to cover all the cab. Um, you got a proper kitchen. Yeah, gas fire. <laughs> no way. Yeah, fridge which works amazing on gas and the electric. It's big as well, isn't it? The yeah. fridge. I mean, that's a you'd have that in a flat. I yeah. Mean, that's, like, that's big. Yeah. So you've um, got the toilet. That's it. With a shower in there. Oh, um, we did the solar panel and. Away you go. That will convert it. I need yeah. one. Yeah, but look, so once nice. you once you sort of camp in one of these, it's hard to go back to yeah. camping in a van. Yeah, because you don't you don't really you know, you're not setting stuff. You literally just stop. Yeah. I suppose. Yeah. And then you camp, and you're not got to set it. your bed out in the That's night it. time because you can just jump up there. Yeah. Home. I mean, when we went to cafe in a machine. Yeah. There was quite a few of us just sat here I think chilling. It was Fourteen, wasn't it? Yeah, <laughs> so yeah. You know what I mean? So it's like. They're, they're, they're social things yeah and a lot of people are, are interested in buying couches now i've seen a lot of they people get a lot more yeah. popular yeah and the crafters and the, the biggest the stuff. bigger yeah the thing is we all bought like the the t4s and that got into it and then it 
it yeah. all escalates and it like That's lows it. they're never low enough no 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 so, um, you got any plans for that well, yeah, I've, uh, the front's got to come down, uh, but get that subframe modded. That's it, yeah. But the the rear um, is a lot more difficult because there's a onboard gas tank. Oh right. So that's got to be remounted somewhere else because yeah. there's not enough room underneath. It sits so good on the back though. But the, but the back does. I mean, what I'll probably do is um, I'll probably get the the front lowered. Yeah. More and then we'll see how it because it has got a bit of a rake on the rear anyway. Yeah. So I'll just see how it goes. Yeah, that's a forward rake always looks quite good, I think. Well. Yeah. I think it gives them more of like a retro feel. Yeah. Well, so. having the tyres and the wheels sitting quite far on the couchy does make it yeah. give it the appearance of looking lower yeah. anyway, to be fair. And I'll try to take a photo of them. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Get you the know what I mean? Right so I'll probably just wait for the front to be lowered. Yeah. Um, and then see what it looks like then put it on level ground i can't wait to see it at the show obviously this was meant to be the year it was coming that's out that's it yeah but just here we are it's what it is <laughs> in the scaffold yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, obviously you guys long standing members will know mick um you've been in you've been around us for some time Quite now a, while, a few yeah. different bands yeah, as well. yeah definitely yeah which yeah. one was it first what you have um first? i had uh, a t5.1 uh, blue long wheelbase yeah um i bought that and i, I I mean, as soon as I bought it, I wanted it on air because I seen uh, Simon Rook's white T five point one at a show, yeah. and I said to my wife, I went, I said, oh, I'm about to look. <laughs> uh, so I did my research. Just told her. That's it. I did my research and uh, I went with uh, I went with John at oh, JPL. Yes. Uh, and to be fair, his installs are so good, unbelievable, and such a nice bloke. Yeah, and he literally updated me daily on photos of things brackets he'd made. Yeah. Things he'd powder coated underneath the van, which I ain't never going to see. No. Um, it was such a nice T5. Oh, it was. it was beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And, um, you know, never had a moment's problem with it, you no. know, and I loved it. But what I did find is uh, my feelings had changed from the newer vans. I wanted something old. Yeah. Um, so my wife loves looking on eBay. Bit so we was looking on eBay and we seen the Docker and... It was down in Lincoln, so we just thought we'd have a, yeah. we'd have a drive down and, and look at it. That dock is so clean. We will be featuring Mix 25 in um, in another video because we've got to do that thing, especially with your son's car now yeah. next to it. They, yeah. they match and pair. It's so nice. Yeah, because yeah, so you went to the 25 docker after, didn't you? Yeah. And it started off on, was it on air? Yeah, it was. Yeah, started on air. Uh, we had quite a few problems with the air. Um, we kept bursting bags, but... Probably a lot of that was to do with the extra weight because we built a pod to yeah. put on the back, which um, yeah, was didn't heavy. really like it, to be fair. So um, I'll have to find a photo uh, in that video with it when when you had the pod for it. Cause yeah, it, it was cool. Wasn't yeah, it? and then I sold the pod to a guy in Ireland. He come over. Yeah, to to pick it up because we was already thinking about sort of taking yeah. the next step into having a couchy and doing the same to a couchy, lowering a couchy. Yeah, you don't so we both. didn't we didn't want to. Um, Still kept the van though. Yeah, but the dock is still stays here. <laughs> yeah, and that's so had some changes. We've got to vid it back on the back there. And, you know, and it's, it's so you know, cool. Every time I drive it, it's like I fall in love with it yeah. again. But then again, this is the same with the T4. Because after the t you kept 25 back, you got a bay as well, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, that was we had nice. a bay, yeah, yeah. yeah. First time I met that thing, it broke down. Yeah. We pushed it up. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It broke down about four times <laughs> really? on the way there as well. But uh, <laughs> yeah. Um, I think I'll, I will have another air cooled. Yeah, you know what I mean, because I think it's just the natural. Is that where you're going to go next? I think so. Yeah. yeah, yeah, definitely. But uh, I think this will stay. For the simple fact is, this is this is a like um, a show van that you can literally you can use. You can use. Yeah. It's a usable sort yeah. of you know, and it's you can take the family line. away. Yeah, and the wife don't mind coming in here because she can do her air in the exactly. You know, and you can have a shower. Blah blah blah. It's that fine line between it's cool, but you can also That's it. actually use it. Yeah. Um, but you can turn up at a show and it will turn heads. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Probably because I walk around a thing to see the other vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's so big. Yeah. It's probably just a shadow you put on other yeah. people's cars exactly. when you when you drive it. But uh, I can't wait to see the shows. It's going to yeah. pull so many people over yeah. to the low down stands. But um, uh, it is a lovely, it is a lovely van to drive as well. I mean, yeah. I've, I was never a lover of the T4s. I've got to be honest. But once, once we seen this, we see it advertised in Wales, and uh, we went down to view it, uh, just through the side of the horseshoe pass, uh, and it was a little bit ropey. To be fair, got a few knocks and dings and stuff like that. But obviously, the mileage, um, yeah, sold it for us, and yeah. the uh, and the guy was just he weren't getting the use of it, uh, and we literally took it out. For a little test drive and me and my wife have got smaller than our really? faces from here to here <laughs> just for the fact for the sheer size of it yeah and we looked at thought 
you know what we could do with it you know what i mean yeah, that's so, the thing. when you've got the kids and that as well like you've yeah. just got so much room especially with the dogs and that. that's it definitely um it is it is awesome man i'm converted if i could ever come to sell mine yeah. i reckon i would get a t4 yeah. coach yeah they're just i think they've got to the point now t4s where they 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 are that cusp of retro now. Do you know what I mean they're early nineties yeah. with yeah. early bumpers as well? Well, like probably eighteen months ago, the T twenty fives was in the same sort of yeah. category. Everybody used to hate the bricks. There was an ugly van exactly. years and years ago. Now we want, but now when people have started lowering them, slamming them, they look a totally different beast. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they're getting really fashionable now. The T twenty fives and there's a massive following, and I think that's what's happening with the T fours. People yeah, are exactly. sort of maybe getting them or looking at them or looking at yours and yeah. some of the other, you know, awesome T4s and thinking, you know what, I like that and they, I like the way that looks, they you know what I mean? Cool. So I got back from Mix and I've been editing this all day now and I've just come to realise that the camera only films in five minute intervals. It has cut the end of our interview short. Um, so a massive thanks to Mick for letting me go out, see his vans, and taking the time to, do you know what I mean, be interviewed by me. Um, if you like the clobber, you've seen in the video today, um, that's available at lowdowntransporters.com. Um, we've got loads of merch on there, hats, lanyards, uh, t-shirts, hoodies, so go check that out. Um, if you like the video, like, subscribe, bell icon, let's grow this channel, and let's get featuring some more cool lowdown transporters. Until the next one, guys, thank you, cheers.